Welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. As you see, I'm in the T3. We've got storm, it's either Catherine or Kathleen sweeping across the country this weekend. Today is, well, I just check what date it is. It's Friday, the 5th of April, and myself and Charlie are heading off in the VW for the first time since we did the launch video. Now, we went to the getaway in the VW just to show you around the VW, and we stayed for a night. Then myself and Deirdre to kick off season seven. Myself, Deirdre, and Charlie went down to Inch Beach in the Heimer. Uh, we have since been away in a Heimer, but not videoing because we've been there before. But now, this is it. I've never been to where we're going today, and I have been to where we are tomorrow in the Bebaw, the Heimer, and I want to go in the VW for a couple of reasons, but I'll tell you about that in next week's video. Today, we're heading to County Wicklow to Moat Farm in Donard. On our Instagram account, if you follow us on Instagram, a couple of weeks back, and indeed over the past a few times I have put up, are there any campsites you'd like Charlie and me to visit that we haven't been to already? And a good few suggestions came up, but one of them was Moat Farm in Wicklow, in Donard in County Wicklow. So that's where we're going today. Now, we're not expecting it to be busy. There is a storm brewing. I know there is one couple going because they want a couple of Charlie and me mugs. And they were on to me asking, was there anywhere they could go that would be sheltered from the storm that's coming in? And I said, look, I haven't been to Moat Farm. That's where I'm going this weekend. So they've booked in for the weekend. I'm going to meet them and have a couple of Charlie and me mugs printed to give them. So little bit of road footage for the first time. I've never tried this dash cam. Hopefully it'll be okay. So if there's road footage, you can skip it here. It's not going to be that long. It'll probably be just the main piece. I'm not going to show you leaving the estate and the motorway. I'll show you literally from when we get to Donard or how far the village is to the campsite. So if you want to skip the road footage, skip there. I suggest you just hang on and watch it. And hopefully all of this camera footage is going to come out because it's the first time that we've done it in my T3 dream, the VW. So let's go get Charlie. We're all packed up, clothes, food, the whole lot. And let's hit the road in this stormy weather. Moat Caravan and Camping Park. All the details will come up at the end in the credits of where it is, phone numbers, GPS. Well, it's air code, the whole lot. Your man is all settled. And we have literally just got here uh, in time. Right, it was a bit of a drive. This is our first mega outing and longest driving, longest drive in the T3. On the M9, we turned off at Castle Dermot. So on the M9 from, from Waterford up to Castle Dermot, we had sunshine, showers, and very strong winds, and every truck and car in the country that was on that road passed us, and that's okay. We can only do 80 kilometers an hour. 
I rather do, that's 50 miles. I rather do 45 because it keeps the engine temperature okay. But even at 80, I can turn on the engine temperature fan and everything is fine. When we turned off at Castle Dermot, the temperature went down to normal and she drove beautifully for another half hour and we got to Donard. Now, it's lash and rain. I'm not going to take this guy out with me, but when it eases off, I will take you for a walk. This is a small site. They take caravans, motorhomes, and they have a massive tent area. Now, it's soaked at the moment, and there's actually the farmer next door has his sheep and lambs grazing on it. But I'm on pitch one. And, well, the first pitch on the left, I don't know what number it is. I've got power. I've got a tap. There's a camper's kitchen just there. The toilets and showers are just here. There's a little meeting room. It's beautiful. During the height of season, there's an office. As soon as you come in, there's a key code on the gate. Um, Nula will give you that key code if she's not going to be in the office, but she lives in the house next door. And a lot of the regulars know if there's nobody here to call down to Nula next door. She rang me as soon as I got here because she saw the uh, my tea tree dream drive past. So we had a great old chat. There are a couple of caravans here. And I know there's a couple, a young couple coming down here this weekend to meet Charlie and me. And I've got a couple of Charlie and me mugs for them. I will give you all the details when we go for a walk around the site and I get the prices off Nula the whole lot. But first impressions, it's a quaint site. It's established 100%. There's going to be no work done here. There's no more sites going in. No new toilet block going in. This site is here about 25, 30 years. It's established and it's beautiful. It's just old school. So many places not taking tents. This place takes tents. Donard Village is a 45 second walk. Let's say, let's say a two minute walk from the gate in case you want to nose into the houses. It's literally 100 meters down the lane. O'Keefe's shop has everything. It's, it's not a center. It's not a super value. It's just the village stores and it should have everything you need. The pub across the road serves food Friday, Saturdays and Sundays. I think she said like from five o'clock and maybe it changes during the summer months. But for this week where we're here, the beginning of April, she said from five o'clock, Friday, Saturdays and Sundays. It's a Friday when we're here now. Um, the rain is eased off, so I'm literally just going to go and put on the front windscreen covers. But let me show you our setup here in the van. The bed is not made, so all our bedding is behind us. Your man is asleep there. We're sitting on the seat and everything is hunky-dory. Let me just We've just had a cup of tea and biscuits. Let me turn the camera around and just show you our little setup here. So we got the uh, captain swivel seat for the passenger seat. The towel is just to keep Charlie, Charlie dry because the weather is brutal. Uh, we've got curtains that Velcro onto that. Um, we've got the max fan open at the moment, but not switched on, but it's open as a skylight. So I keep all my food and Delph and stuff up there. And then up here behind us is where I keep towels. There's actually a chair up there. There's an awning up there. Um, it's mainly my clothes there, socks, jocks, t-shirts, jeans, and a lot of stuff. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of storage. In fact, that storage goes all the way back to here in that press there i have the windscreen covers and believe it or not i have a camping chair i've also got a camping chair up top but i've got a camping chair in there as well the driver's seat doesn't swivel but we've plenty of space with that seat swiveled um and again i'll just show you here we had a cup of tea we've got a grill here we got the two ring burner we got the cooker now the cooker or the fridge only works on 220 and 12 volt i've disconnected from the gas then we have our crockery and stuff in there our cutlery in there that's a press with pots and stuff and that's just a storage press with decks of cards and the remote control for the maxi fan um i'll turn this again our gas is in under here i have two little bottles of gas that's the vent for the diesel heater which is in that wardrobe behind the power station that is the setup we have here I don't think, I know Shane and Anna, they have a YouTube channel. They've traveled all over Europe and theirs, but they're two young people. And in the weather, you're out there a lot. In this weather with Deirdre here, it wouldn't be comfortable, at least in the Heimer. We have lots of room. Anyway, that's the setup we have here. I got to go, put on my windscreen covers, uh, throw on a coat and take a walk around with your man. I'll bring a camera with us and please God, the weather will be kind while we take your walk around the campsite. Okay, the weather has eased off. I'm gonna just hit this camera. And we're going to go for a quick ramble, okay? So what I want to do is I'll show you where we are. I'll go up to the front gate. There's a chap up there with his dog at the moment. I'll go up to the front gate. 
I'll show you the toilets, the showers. We don't go into the toilets and showers, but I'll show you the toilet and shower block. I'll show you the camper's kitchen. And then we'll walk from the front gate down to where we are here and we'll go for a bit of a ramble. So hang on till I head towards the front gate. Reception is just outside on the right hand side. When you make your way in, the toilets and showers are there. There is a laundry room there with a washer and dryer. And then the second door is the sitting room and the chemical disposal is at the end of that block. So toilets and showers, I'll go in and take a look at them later on. I don't like bringing the camera into the toilets and showers. So we are there. I'm calling it pitch one. It's the first pitch on the left hand side. On front of us is a massive tent area, but the weather has been so bad that um, it's just logged off. It's full of um, lambs and sheep and I just see two little lambs loose down here. So I'm going to have to be careful. There's another pitch there. That pitch is a fine size. We've got power just there on the right hand side, a tap on the left hand side. Beautiful little driveway down along here again. Another pitch here. Another pitch here. So you share the same power as we have there. Um, Nula was telling me there's power points to Nula was telling me that this couple here, it's their first time out in the caravan. Another caravan there. I have to be very careful now because there are lambs, little baby lambs down there. And I don't want them attacking Charlie. I'm not sure if Charlie attacking them. I think. So the pitches are a fine size and they do seem to be level, a little bit overgrown, but look, it's the winter. Plenty of power. Haven't seen another tap down this end yet. Wow, it goes all the way. This is a bigger campsite than I thought. Fire extinguisher there. Uh, there's also a tap there. I'm not going to go down too far, guys, because the sheep and the lambs are there. I'm not going to get the drone up either because Storm Kathleen has made sure that there is no way I'm going to get a drone up. Um, there seems to be a football pitch or something just behind us because there's massive light. I'm not going down there because, as you see, there are two bonnets or two lambs. So we're going to go over here and there's a few under the trees because I want to show you. The campsite goes down past where those lambs are around the corner and all the way back over there and all the way to over there. I'll find out exactly how many pitches there are on site. That is the area for the tents all along there. There's power in on the pole. I'm getting spotted by all these lambs. It is very, very, very windy here on site. So you get the general idea, but I'm gonna say there might be 30 pitches all with power but to go all the way down there i just don't want to go with charlie out and the lambs there's loads and loads and loads of little baby lambs over there so let's make our way back up here i'll take a ramble into the toilets and i'll let you know what they're like i'd say they're going to be dated but i bet they're clean because it is an old established site you can tell by the growth of the trees on site i mean they've been growing there for a while um there's little lambs down there Oh, they're gorgeous. Um, I see that there's plenty of uh, street lighting that we'll call it as well on site, these little poles. If I think of it later on, I'll come out later on when it's lit up. But I'm sure you'll agree, it's a well-established site. Moat, farm, caravan and camping park. It's been here quite a while. I don't know why it never came on our radar, to be honest. And then I asked you guys for suggestions. And this was suggested, so I said, right, we'll do here. We're going to another caravan park tomorrow for a re-re-revisit. But the first time that we've had the VW in the other car park, in the other camping park. Plenty of bins on site as well. And again, another tap there. Black water is just at the end of that building. I don't know where you empty your grey water, but I will find out. And let's head in towards the camper's kitchen. There are two barbecue pits over there. I'd say during the summer when this place, the sun is shining and this place is in full bloom. Um, I'd say it's beautiful. Fine size camper's kitchen. It's got a freezer, fridge freezer, two fridges, plenty of seating. I do know that the water is piping hot here. Um, fine size, big hot water tank, plenty of seating. I'd say during the summer, this place is an absolute buzz and ideal 
camper's kitchen if you're tenting. So many campsites closing down now since COVID and uh, not catering for tents, which is a pity. It really, really is a pity. Um, right, I'm going to put this guy away, put the camera away and take a walk into the toilets and let you know what they're like. There's two barbecue points over there, which I'd say again during the summer is brilliant. This is reception during the summer. Lots and lots of details of things to do. Football pitch down there and literally 200 yards up there is the village. Literally 200 yards just past the end of that building and you're in the village. Just taking a walk down this evening. It's um, 20 to seven. So I wanted to get Charlie out for his ramble. Uh, it's starting to rain again. It's been fine since we got here. Um, and I just want to give you a rundown on Moat Farm Caravan and Camping Park. As I said at the offset, it's an old established park with some great character. I'd say on a summer's evening, the buzz in this place, especially if there's tents over in that area there, it's a massive green area for tents, but I'd say there is some buzz on this campsite during the summer months when we get the good weather but um on a dreary evening like this it's just nice we're gonna stick the heating on we're gonna make the bed now and sit up catch up on a bit of youtube it's set, heavens are starting to open it's 35 euro a night all in no charge for electricity that's with hookup no charge for showers there's plenty of hot water the showers are as long as you want them to be um they're a bit eco-friendly here so uh, detergents try and use safe detergents you know in for emptying your gray water so if you're emptying your gray water you're not going to damage the environment um, I love it it's a lovely place I'm going to come back here with Deirdre I think it's the kind of place where when you get here you just relax you really do as I say it's a one minute walk down into town there is a pub that does food um, there's very few campsites you're going to get for 35 quid with electricity That's for two adults and a unit. There's no charge for the dogs I'm, I'm walking down to the part of the site where I didn't go today Because the um, the lambs were down here So I'll just turn the camera and show you how big it is down this end of the site So we are up there. There's the toilet block up there That's the tent area there and the road makes it way down here um they were telling me that they've a lot of people who've been coming here for 20 years a lot of the same business uh, the chap that i showed you there the caravan and car it's their first night out camping in a caravan so they would be classed as newbies and i was chatting to him and he thinks it's a very quaint site uh, they're from arklo so there are pitches in there with electric hookup a bit of a puddle there charlie and there are pitches all the way down there on both sides again with electric hookup. I've said it already, I'm going to say it again. Oh, and plenty of lighting as well. I'd say during a good summer's evening, there's a buzz about this place. When the camper's kitchen is clean and all set up and the fridges are being used, when the people are in their caravans, little quaint, dainty caravan over there, people in the tents with or without power. I think there'll be a buzz here and I'm going to come back during the summer. It's, it's a two hour drive in the VW, but I'm going to come back here in the Heimer. Um, Nuala is an absolute beautiful lady to chat to. She was telling me all the family history and about her mom, Kathleen, which is a bit weird because the storm that we're due to hit us tonight uh, over the next 24 hours <laughs> is tough, Kathleen. Um, right, I'm going to wrap it up here. We're going to head back to my tea tree dream tomorrow. Uh, which will be next Friday for you. We head to another campsite on this uh, our first big long outing in the VW. Thank you for your support. Can I remind you the podcasts with myself and Chris on Wednesdays? Um, we're still just doing them once a month. That'll pick up, please God, during the summer months when we have more content. Um, you can subscribe, subscribe to our channel here. Click on the bell, and every time we upload a video, you'll get notified. Your man's after spotting a lamb over there. Come on, but. Come on, yeah, so every time you uh, 
we upload a video, you'll get notified if you subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. We still appreciate you watching the videos, whether you're a subscriber or not. But from Charlie Brown, from myself, Aaron, thank you for joining us at Moat Farm. All of the details will come up at the end of this video, including the air code, contact details, the whole lot. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.